Hey everybody, this is Madas Gaichia, and I'm back with part 25 of Final Fantasy for the After Years. This is another part that I decided to re-record, just because of the fact that this is, this is my second most viewed video on YouTube. So, let's just kill these guys really quickly so we can move on into the castle. Alright, let's go. Uh, thanks for the interruption, Moon. Anyway. In we go, right after him. Okay, so in that little cutscene, Rosa looked at the hooded man and realized that he was Kane, and that this Kane was an imposter. So now it's time to battle our dark self once again. Okay, so, now all of a sudden we can jump. Dun dum, dum dum, dum dum, dum dum, dum dum, dum dum, dum dum, So now that we have the jump command, Kane will go down in no time. Already he's dead. And Kluya turns Kane into a holy dragoon.
Epic! So, now we're back. Let's go ahead and finish the tale. Or should I say the main story? Yeah, yeah, completely ignore Edward. Good job. But anyway, that's it. That's the end of the main story of Final Fantasy IV The After Years. This, in Japan, is actually a collection of Seedor's Tale, the prologue, and Edward, uh, sorry, Kane's Tale. So, next, we will be doing the individual tales, the story arcs for each of the other main characters from the original game. Um, most of them are much shorter since they're, um, single tales. And I'm not gonna make you watch the whole credits because they play at the end of each tale. Uh, we'll just watch the credits when we completely beat the game. So, for now, we're done. The next part, we will begin Radio's Tale. And we will be back to normal quality if you're actually watching this.